Welcome to Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. Good morning, listeners. Welcome back to Tax Insight here on WOMT, 1240 AM, 107.9, and of course, streaming online anytime at WOMTradio.com. We're talking with Jeff from Hawkins Ash today. Jeff, good morning, sir. Good morning, Terry. How are you today? I'm doing well. Excellent. Jeff, we are talking about the American Opportunity Tax Credit. We are because, you know, even though most students have just started their summer break, you know, the fall semester is going to be here before we know it. So today I want to talk about that American Opportunity Tax Credit. And, you know, that credit can be used to help offset some of the expenses for college for the first four years. So how much can a family actually save by using this credit? So the credit can save as much as $2,500 per year, depending on the family's income. And that's for the first four years of college. So how is that actually calculated then? So it's not a real hard formula. The the formula is actually, it's 100% of the first $2,000 of expenses, and then 25% of the next $2,000 of expenses. So you get the full $2,500 credit each year, if you have 4000 in college expenses, which, you know, we know isn't hard to do. Yeah, absolutely. And this credit is actually used to offset the tax for the most part, but up to 40% of it or up to $1,000 can be refundable. So, Jeff, what expenses can actually count towards this? So, you can use things like tuition, fee, course materials, books and equipment, things like that. It does not count, though, um, room and board food, or other living expenses. Okay. Now, those expenses you can pay with your EdVest or 529 plan funds, but just not those expenses do not count with the credit. All right. Now, you mentioned earlier about income limits. What are those limits? Now, the credit's been around for a, a while now, and these limits have not changed, so they have not inflationed up. So they're still, they, uh, they begin at, at an $80,000 for single, and they phase out if your income is $90,000 as a family. Now, if you're married, the phase out starts at $160,000 worth of income and totally phases out at $180,000 worth of income. And again, this is only available for the first four years of college, correct? It's right. That's right. For the first four years. So the student must not have completed the first four years of school. So even if they didn't take the credit for all four years, they're limited after the student finishes that fourth year of school. They also must be attending a qualified college or tech school and pursuing a degree at least half time. So can the credit be taken even if a student has uh, an an education savings account, you know, that 529 plan um, or this EdVest for Wisconsin? Yes, but you can't use the same tuition dollar for the credit and be reimbursed through a 529 plan. So here's one tip, you know, pay for the first $4,000 worth of tuition and fees with non-529 plan funds to get the full credit and use the 529 plan funds for the rest, you know, along with the room and board, food, et cetera. Now, we'll be talking more about these type of planning items next week because I have a feeling we're running out of time. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff, in the meantime, how do listeners connect with the team at Hawkins Ash? I would go right to our website, which is HawkinsAshCPAs.com, and go to that CPA HQ section. Awesome, Jeff. Thank you for your time, and we'll talk to you next week here in Tax Insight on WOMT. This has been Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. Learn more online at HawkinsAshCPAs.com. Hawkins Ash CPAs, part of your business, part of your life.